so hello friends now in this video we are going to discuss about the classification of anti epileptic drugs so first group is your sodium channel inhibitors now which uh, drugs are included under this so first is your sodium valproate the name itself is sodium the next is your uh, phenytoin and phosphenytoin the third one is your carbamazepine and uh, your uh, oxcarbamazepine then lamotrigine okay and then topiramate so these five drugs are under this now these drugs just prolong inactive state of the sodium channel now the next is your calcium channel inhibitors uh, it includes sodium valproate then topiramate then your uh, lamotrigin and three extra that is ethosuximide pregabalin and gabapentin okay pregabalin and gabapentin now the third group is glutamate pathway inhibitors so this is the vesicle in which glutamate is stored and glutamate is stored through this uh, channel which is known as synv2a that is synaptic vesicular 2a okay so we can use levetiracetam levetiracetam for inhibiting the inhibiting this channel okay and this glutamate uh, release is also inhibited by lamotrigine and glutamate acts on its receptor nmda amp and cannate so we can inhibit at the receptor level by using sodium valproate n for n so nmda is by sodium valproate then ampf by parenpenyl and cannate by topiramate so the, see topiramate and lamotrigine we are seeing in all these three categories means these are the broad spectrum antibiotic uh, sorry broad spectrum drugs clear now the fourth category is your gaba pathway enhancer okay it includes see glutamine is converted to gaba gaba is packed in the cycle then gaba is released okay so uh, sodium valproate can be used to induce in conversion of glutamine to gaba here also okay now this gaba is reuptaken by this transporter okay so tia gab uh, gabin tia gabin just inhibit this transporter so gaba will remain here for a longer time okay because GABA is a negative, um, GABA is a inhibiting neurotransmitter. So we want that GABA remain for more time here. Okay, so that it can inhibit the overactivity of the neurons. Okay, so this tiagabin will inhibit this receptor, inhibit this channel. Okay, one this enzyme that is known as gamma transaminase. Okay, gamma transaminase. This enzyme metabolize the GABA. So we can inhibit this uh, this enzyme by giving vigabetrin. Okay, vigabetrin, vigabetrin inhibit this enzyme. Clear? and uh, infantile spasm which is associated with your sorry infantile spasm which is associated with tuberculosis tuberous sclerosis uh, and for that drug of choice is your this vigaba train okay and infantile spasm without this drug of choice is acetyl or steroids now we can also modulate this gaba a receptors okay we will discuss we have discussed in benzodiazepines and barbiturates benzodiazepines barbiturates primidone this can modulate this GABA receptors clear? and the fifth uh, category is your K plus channel openers so first starting with the uh, first that is sodium valproate so mechanism of action as we discussed it will prolong the inactive state of the sodium channel okay now this sodium valproate also inhibit calcium channels as we discussed so it will inhibit the release of the neurotransmitter so decreasing the activity of neurons it is also NMDA receptor blocker and it also increases the GABA synthesis as we have discussed here it also promotes the GABA synthesis so sodium valproate is an example of your broad spectrum drug now what are the indications for the sodium valproate so first is your epilepsy so broadest spectrum anti epileptic drug so most and also see, see here broadest as well as most effective both these qualities are there broadest as well as most effective anti epileptic drug now this is drug of choice for generalized seizure because this is the most efficient and protest active uh, okay and we know gen in generalized seizure all the lobes are involved and we know all the types of generalized seizure because generalized seizure are the four types okay we will discuss in later on in our physiology videos so epilepsy protest spectrum anti epileptic drug most efficient anti epileptic drug and the drug of choice is your generalized the drug of choice for generalized seizure for all types of generalized seizure now second is your treatment of focal seizure the third is for treatment of status epilepticus also okay so treatment of status epilepticus focal seizure fourth is your neuralgia so drug block sodium channel okay drug is just uh, increasing the in the time period of inactivation of the channel okay so drugs just blocking sodium channel so it will decrease the sensory pain pathway okay so it can be treat, uh, used for the treatment of neuropathy trigeminal neuralgia also now fifth indication is migraine prophylaxis okay because uh, sodium channels are emitted sodium channels are inactivated so that can be used for the migraine prophylaxis now these drugs can also be used for bipolar disorders means mania and depression at different types okay bipolar disorder means there uh, sometime at some time there will mania at some time there will be depression okay so we can give and these uh, drugs are also known as mood stabilizers okay sodium valproate can also hear it so first indication is your uh, 
जेनरलाइज सीजर के लिए ड्रग फॉर ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस देन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ फोकल सीजर देन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ योर स्टेटस एपलेप्टिकस देन न्यूरोलॉजिया देन प्रोफाइल एक्सिस ऑफ माइग्रेन एंड देन बाइपोलर डिसऑर्डर सो दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिकेशन ऑफ दिस ड्रग्स नाउ फॉर आर द फार्मेको कैनेटिक्स ऑफ दिस ड्रग सो बाई ओर रूट यू कैन गिव ओके थ्रू आई वी रूट फॉर इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन लिपिड सोलोबल सो इट कैन एक्ट इन सी एन एस एंड इट ऑल्सो इन बुक इन बॉल लिवर मेटाबोलिज्म एंड दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बिकॉज सोडियम वेलप्रोट इन अंडरगोइंग लिवर मेटाबोलिज्म फॉर्म फ्री रेडिकल्स एंड दैट दोज फ्री रेडिकल्स कैन कॉज इंजरी टू योर लिवर सेल्स ओके सो देर विल लिवर टॉक्सिसिटी इफ लिवर टॉक्सिसिटी देन अमोनिया विल नॉट बी कन्वर्टेड टू यूरिया सो देर विल बी इंक्रीज केसेस ऑफ अमोनीमिया ओके सो दिस ड्रग्स आर एवॉयडेड इन चिल्ड्रेन ओके बिलो टू टू थ्री ईयर्स because it can cause result in liver failure okay so it is avoided in 2 to 3 years below the 2 to 3 years of the patient it is also avoided in the cases of liver failure okay now what are the treatment of this so if free radicals is forming due to this so you you can give antioxidant such as l carnitine so l carnitine is given for the liver toxicity okay so l carnitine is usually used with the sodium valproate now it is also liver enzyme inhibitor okay cyp450 inhibitor by sodium valproate and so it will inhibit the metabolism of carbamazepine and barbiturates so by inhibiting the metabolism of your carbamazepine and barbiturates it increases the side effect of carbamazepine and barbiturates is it is acidic in nature okay because it is and, and because of the acidic nature it will bind to the albumin so it displaces phenytoin because this drug uh, has more affinity for the albumin so it displaces phenytoin so there can be phenytoin toxicity it also cross placenta so can lead to teratogenicity okay and baby can born with your neural tube defects long forehead and flat philtrum and this is the most teratogenic antipyretic mind it so three important pharmacokinetics you always remember this free radical formation uh, this enzyme inhibitor for your carbamazepine and barbiturates and your acidic nature so phenytoin toxicity okay and the last is your most teratogenic anti epileptic drug okay this is the most teratogenic anti epileptic drug now what are the side effects of uh, this drug so all anti epileptic drugs are cns depressant all anti epileptic drugs are cns depressant okay which we will discuss in our videos and most common side effect is sedation and drowsiness except phenytoin okay there is degree chances of this side effect now if you will increase dose then it will can cause cerebellar toxicity and that could cause your ataxia your nystagmus and diplopia because of the cerebellar toxicity ataxia nystagmus and diplopia okay now other side effect you can remember by the strict water plan w for weight loss okay because it can inhibit your h1 receptors at cns level so it will uh, increase your appetite center it causes also hormonal imbalance okay by inhibiting the anti epileptic hormone release okay now it also causes alopecia so because of this three reason three reasons these drugs are avoided in the cases of females okay because of the weight gain because of the hormonal imbalance and alopecia it also causes tremors because of the inhibition of the inhibitory pathway and tremors are of fine type it also causes ataxia as we discussed due to the cerebellum cerebellar toxicity it also causes pancreatitis okay a liver toxicity as we discussed so liver toxicity so there will increase in ammonia and due to teratogenic uh, property it can cause neural tubular defect sedation most common side effect so trick is water plan so w for weight gain h for your hormonal imbalance a for alopecia this t for your tremors then again a for ataxia okay 3a alopecia ataxia and this ammonia this p for pancreatitis l for liver toxicity n for neural defects and this was sedation so these are the effects of the sodium valproate clear now so, uh, now we will discuss in next video about your carbamazepine okay so thank you